Oh yeah. my gosh! It just shucks your breasts into there and, and looks at it? it squeezes it. Hurts. Holy cow, Especially that must hurt so bad. Babies. Guys, welcome back to the channel. We are Matt and Abby, and we are so happy that you are here. Before we go ahead and get started, make sure that you hit that like button and subscribe for the YouTube algorithm. It really helps us out. We are doing the infamous quizzing, quizzing my, my husband. husband on female products. Yeah. That's what it is. And I haven't watched any of these videos. Yeah, I was I like, don't, don't click on any of them because we should do this. People were asking in the comments for us to do this video, so I said, hey, let's do it. Let's go ahead and make it happen. And if you're wondering why we're eating ice cream in the car again, couldn't tell you. We were gonna go to Chick-fil-A today, but it's Sunday. So that was kind of a huge letdown, but we went to Culver's. Our like little hack is we go and we get the kids meal because you get an ice cream. Yeah, and it's like, only five included. I feel like Matt's low key gonna be really good about this because I talk to him about all my girl stuff all the time. I feel like you're pretty educated, plus you've lived with me for over a year now. So you've it's been in the Isn't that house. Crazy? So it's That's been weird in the house. So you about. probably you've been around it, you've been exposed to it. One year of marriage. That's just crazy to think about. But let's go ahead and get started, babe. I'm just gonna jump around all over the place. Sweet. Okay, first one, Matthew. Easy. That is a pad. Oh yeah, you're right. That's a pad. that's what that is. Next one. That is a liner. <laughs> See, you know these things. I'm smart. Awesome. Okay, next one. What in the world is that? That looks like some sort of weird pad or a liner. It's <laughs> not like it's not thick enough to do that. Wait a second. What? Okay, my first thought was like that. Since we were just looking at pads, I was like, that's something to do with your you know uterus or something i don't know i don't know but i'm gonna say now that i'm looking at this more i'm gonna say is this what you put like your toes in when you get a pedicure yes, yes! let's go let's go come three on for three baby let's freaking go babe oh i'm good at this okay. stuff all right this one okay at first i thought like you sit on that it looks like a, it's like the shape of a butt <laughs> Um, <laughs> you're right. Says, this is butt. What would you do? Use that for your butt? You I don't might know. be right. It's just, keep it's going just with that. The, it's just the shape of your butt. And I was like, do you sit on this? Is this some sort of like butt massager? Oh, this must be something you use on your face as some way to clean your face. Is that what this is? Good guess. Actually, you use it. I don't have one of these, so that's probably okay. why you didn't know what it was. Ah. You use it to wash your makeup brushes. Okay, next. I'm excited to eat the fries, babe. This one. It looks like mucus. I don't know what the heck that is. What in the world? Do you know what this is? I've never seen you use this before, ever. I have. You're kidding me. Maybe it does have to do with your vagina. I don't know. Um, would this be like a douchebag? <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't know what that could be used for. Okay, Matt, if there's two of them, what do women have two of? Oh! Are those pasties for your yes. nipples? Yes! So, so you don't nip through your dresses? Yes! Ah! Mm. You use it on your legs to, it like plucks your hair for you. How did you know this? Because I'm smart, dude. Have you seen one of these in real life before? Yeah. Is that called like a... Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, what's the name of it? Uh, I want to say caterpillar, but that's not the right word. Kind of the right track, though. I know, yeah. <clears throat> I can't think of it, but it's just like plucking your hair. Cartiplater? Uh, what's it called? It's an epilator. Epilator. That's what it is. Epilator. I think you're doing really good. Thanks, babe. That makeup brush one is, like, I wouldn't have probably even known that. Do people actually use stuff like that? Oh, I've straw. never seen one in real life. No. Well, maybe I have. My straw. I'm trying to get it. I fell through okay. the crack. Next one. That's easy. Easy money. That right there. It's a tampon. Oh, no, no. Were you kind of trying to come up with a word right there? For a second, I, I lost the word. <laughs> and I was trying to think of what it was. And then I got it. Okay. One time I was at a bonfire my freshman year of high school, and this girl threw a tampon in the fire. <gasps> and that was my first time I saw what a tampon Why looked like. Why would you do that? I don't know. She was like, let's see what it looks like. Tampons are expensive. You seen what those things do in water? They blow up. Oh, no. Oh my gosh, barely caught the fry. Okay, what's this? Is that like a nose cleaner? An air, ear cleaner? Is that like a new version of a Q-tip? Mm-mm. What in the world? 
Do almost looks like a, almost looks like a wristband, like one of those wristbands that you like slap and then it like wraps around your wrist. Yeah, I know those. Does this have anything to do with makeup? Nope. Oh, is this for like a pedicure or manicure or something? Like a, no? I had these. Really? This is for your hair, for your hair. So you put, you curl, you put your hair, you wrap it around it. It makes like the curls. It's like the granny curls that go in your hair. Yes. And curl your hair. They hurt really bad. Those look super tiny though. Like the uh -uh, ones I've those seen. Those are thick. What? I mean, those might be skinny, but. Are those I thick had... as like a finger? Mm hmm. Really? I had an exact, like that exact set in pink and green. You have to sleep in them. You're, you put it in what? when your hair's wet and you sleep in them. Is that terrible for your hair or what? I don't think it's terrible for your hair. It just hurts really bad. It must really hurt. And they hurt to take out because your hair gets wrapped around it and it gets stuck. Next one. I know what that is. Abby has that. You yeah. use it on your eyelashes, so you go like ding, ding, and it like pushes your eyelashes up. What, what do you call that thing? That would be called a curler? Yeah, an eyelash curler. Huh, okay. Good job. Next one. What in the world is that? <laughs> That's such a weird shape, though. Mm hmm. Is that used in a manicure or pedicure? Mm hmm. Does that have something to do with your vagina? Nope. And what? What are we looking at then, babe? Your hair. First of all, how big do you think this is? I'm seeing these as like this big. Yeah. So I'm going to say this. <laughs> Does this have something to do with your boobies? Yeah. No way. You're kidding me. Really? <laughs> do you put that in a bra to make it tighter? Not to make it tighter, but so like when, you know how like if a bra has two straps, if you have a tank top that's like racer bag style, yeah. this will hook the two straps oh. together so it's hidden. Oh, Okay. Next one. I've seen that. Uh -huh. So that device goes on the end of your blow dryer mm -hmm. and then you can run it through your hair and it helps your hair get to a good texture. Yeah, you're okay, this one. You put your hair in that, like yeah. a ponytail, and you put it on your hair. And I don't even know what the heck that does, but I just know what you What does do it that. do? Is that just a scrunchie? No. And has a purpose? Yes. Really? Yes. Let's get the frizzles out. <laughs> I don't know. Get some frizzles out. Yeah, get the, get the frizzles out. You got some frizzles sometimes. No, it doesn't do that. No. So this never shows. You're not supposed, this isn't supposed to show. Is it like a bump it? Kind, not really. Do you put it like on top of your head and put your hair through it? And like Your hair goes through it, but it's supposed to, it shapes it like into a bun. Oh. Yeah. I yeah. wore one of these on the wedding. It was amazing. Yeah, that. that's right. Okay, what's this one? Oh. That one is easy sauce. Well, the brand name is called Diva Cup, is what I know, but it's really called a menstrual cup. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good so what, job. I don't think that this is technically a Diva Cup. What? What's this? Mm. That is a brush that you use on your leg to prevent and stop yourself from getting cellulite. Yeah. It helps with cellulite and like spider veins. The official name for that is like a... It rhymes with fry. <sighs> I don't got it. Dry brush. <laughs> yeah. Dry brush. It's a dry brush and you don't just use it on your legs. It kind of helps with blood, blood circulation and stuff. Mm. Next we have this. I know what that is. You're about to have Matthew. an appointment and you're gonna, I think they're gonna use that thing. That's to uh, do a pap smear. Because they have to, they have to go in there. Well, it's for anything. Get everything open, and then they can use a little swab and figure out if you have an STD. Do you know what this is called? I want to say the word sounds like caterpillar again, but it's not no. caterpillar. No, it doesn't sound like caterpillar. Uh, spectrum? No. Close. Speculum. Yes. Good job. <laughs> Next one. That is what you use. You just brush it, and I think it can get rid of like peach fuzz or hair around your eyebrows. Yes, you literally nailed that one. Mm -hmm. It's just a tiny razor. Um, next one. I don't know. What? That looks like an egg. Like, what would you use that for? Mm. This is an impressive device. Is this vaginally related again? No. <laughs> Nothing to do with any boobies this time. Wait, what? That has to do with boobs? Are those like cups to like provide shape? <laughs> to like, to like shape your breasts to like look a certain way? No. no? What the heck? That looks weird. That looks like some sort of sci-fi device used Can I in tell you what it does? the future. Not yet. Um, does it? Is it like a lump finder to find out if you have cancer or something in your breast, no. like breast cancer? That's a good guess, though. 
Um, does it massage them to make them feel good? <laughs> I don't know. I'm out. I'm out of ideas. No. Okay. So it's actually really cool. I didn't, I mean, I didn't know this was a thing. I knew that breast pumps were a thing, but these are like mobile. So like you can, women can wear under their shirt and it cap has a little bag on the inside where it collects breast milk for nursing mothers. What? Yeah. So they just wear it under a shirt. I'm sure you can hear it, so it must be kind of. That's weird. cool. Um, but I've seen, I've seen. That moms looks nothing use it. like a breast pump. That's so really that's cool. Out. Isn't that cool? Mm-hmm. Next one. What the freaking heck is that thing? Um. I'm not sure if you're gonna get this one. Is that used on your nails, like your fingernails? Yes. Let's freaking go, what do baby. You think it does? To buff them and polish them and to refine them, make them so look it's great. like an electric like filer and buffler. Yeah, buff and buffler. Yeah. it's like you know, your nail uh, file. filer. You're, and do, you're doing this with your nail file, but B- that buffle is buff. Buffer. Buffer. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, you got that one. I don't even know how you did. Next one. Mm, that's your contour sponge. What's it called? I don't know if you know the name of it. I've said it in front of you, I'm sure. I want to say palette, but it's not a palette. What? Is that what you use for your base layer, your um, foundation? Yes. Foundation sponge? Yes. Foundation sponge? No. Oh. That's not what it's called. You already got it. Okay. It's called a beauty blender. Mmm. I've heard you say that word before. Yeah. This one is cute. That looks like a pillow that you use on an airplane and you rest your head back. Not that. Shoot. I'm going to say... Oh, you just dropped a bunch Did I drop ketchup on my khakis? No. Oh, shoot. Okay, we're good. I'm going to say that's like a massage your fallopian tubes to keep yourself from feeling pain during that time of the month. Am I correct? (laughs) (laughs) You're so close. Wait, really? No. Oh, dang it. (laughs) How, How would that do that? You lay on your back and you move back and forth. Matthew James. <laughs> no. That would feel good. Like one of those rolling pins that you use at the gym to roll out a, a muscle. That was so far off. I'm so sorry. This um, is a pregnancy pillow. So I basically had it right. No. That's a pillow. Let me show you what it looks like. Whoa. Yeah. What? So do you see how you kind of lay that like that? That thing's massive. Yeah. It's a full it body. Looked, it looked like it was like six inches long. See? So then that helps a mom. What? So she can, yeah. Rest comfortably. The more like you that. know. The more you know. Okay, this is a gamble. Um, does that go in your vagina? <laughs> does it? Not in. Oh. Whoa! Okay, that helps me then. If it's not going in, it's got to go somewhere. Is that a device that you use to help yourself go to the bathroom in the woods? Yes. What? Are that you kidding helps me? helps women go to the bathroom while standing up. Not necessarily the woods, but... What? Isn't that cool? That is cool. It's kind of weird, though. First, I thought that was... I was going to guess... It's called a go-girl. A go-girl. You go, girl. It's an imaging machine? Is it imaging? Oh, does this thing combine the sperm and the egg to make... No, no, no. no, Oh. (laughs) I'm out out of ideas. I'm so sorry. It's actually a mammogram machine. What is that? So I'm going to show you a picture. Oh, my gosh. It just shucks your breasts into there and, and looks at it? Squeezes it. Why does it squeeze it? To find lumps, I guess. Oh my gosh. Apparently it kind of hurts. Holy cow, that must hurt so bad. Yeah. Yeah. Holy cow. Apparently it's really painful. Oh my gosh, I am so sorry, ladies. kind of painful. That cartoon drawing you showed me did not look very pleasant. (laughs) Jeez. It doesn't look good at all. Oh my gosh. Look at that one. Oh! (laughs) Okay, I have one more, and this is a fun one. Are those for your feet? Do you put your feet in there? And yeah. For what? To do ballet. No. Um, what the heck? Oh, when you're wearing this at the hospital? Where, uh, you can... Do anything you want when you sexy. Why would you put your feet in this? It's just like some sort of cozy sock for your feet. Helps you from slipping. Nope. Helps massage your feet. Nope. Helps soothe your feet. Nope. Moisturizes your feet. No. Cools your feet? Nope. What in the world? <laughs> but it has, you put your foot in this thing? Yes. What the heck does it do for your foot then? Can I tell you something? Yeah. You were right when you said it helps you do ballet. I knew this would throw you off. I have these. 
from when I used to do point. Those yeah, because like girls use those. Ouch pouches. I thought it'd be fun to throw this in there because I just knew that it would throw you off. Interesting. I've seen pe- I've seen girls use those before when they yeah. put on point shoes. Oh, I have one more. You forgot about I one? I forgot one. Oh, Last my goodness. Oh, piece of cake. That, my friends, is an intrauterine device, also known as an IUD. Yes, you got it right. I wonder why I know what that is. <laughs> Well, you got a lot of I think I know somebody right. that has it. I think you did really good. Thanks. Were you surprised by how many I you make, got right? I make knowing my wife and her needs my top priority. Oh, shut up. So, yeah, I think you did really good. You impressed me. Are you surprised by all the products women have? I was trying to think. I was like, there's is there really... There's some weird stuff. I was like, there, there's not really an equivalent of this if video you have, for If men. you would have asked me what those things were at the age of 15 I don't think I would have gotten anything right I've learned a lot knowing Abby like I know so much more now than I did before <laughs> there's some weird stuff I will say I think women have it easier than guys do but I also think there's things women that, have it easier than guys I'm, do. oh the other way around oh, women, women have it worse God. guys have it easier women have it worse but I will you say you almost got smacked you're right women do have it worse than guys yeah there's no argument to that I guess that's the end of this video yeah well guys Thank you so much for watching the video. We really, really appreciate you and your support. Make sure that you smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. We've got a lot more videos coming your way. We appreciate your support so much. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. We love you. Bye. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.